Again, this is for one of the guys. Let me see what his name was. He was wanting to... He wanted me to do a thing, a video on... Andy Williams wanted me to do a video on how I approve and sync a shipment with inventory labs and multiple warehouses, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? These are the open... These are all the open shipments I have, okay? Um, I'm going to be shipping on... Uh, Abe right here at 47, okay, I filled their box up. So basically what you want to do is, this is the rest of the Abe, okay. I'm going to go ahead and complete the batch. I'm going to send it, okay. The feed has been sent, okay, so now I'm going to, I always, I have to run inventory lab in Mozilla Firefox. I have to, so that's where that's at. I go back over to Chrome. I'm going to go to Amazon. Uh, shipping queue. These are the open shipping queues, okay. I refreshed. Okay, and these are the these are all the ones that I have shipped and delivered. You can see I shipped a bunch of CDs a couple days ago, 270. These are the ones that are working right now. Okay, so you see Abe's right here. Okay, Abe's at 4:47. Okay, work on shipment. Okay, uh, I don't need to. I already know what the order is and everything. So what you want to do is come down here, select an option, everything in one box. Okay. And these are all the listings of everything I'm sending. I already know the box weighs 32.4. I don't really, you don't have to put these in the dimensions if you, unless you really, really want to, okay? Books and CDs all in this box. There's a, that's why I can only get 47 in the box. Confirm. Uh, hold on, let me get a, uh, I've got to print a label. Let me get a, a label thing real quick here, guys. One second. And I use the, uh, the labels that you buy that uh, there's two on a sheet for the uh, inventory uh, for the uh, UPS for my laser printer. So basically, it prints the whole thing and then you just self stick them onto the box of so whatever you're shipping. Okay, I'm putting my uh, labels into the printer, it's one sheet per box. Okay, you already know it's confirms, uh, confirms there, calculate is there. So you want to calculate the shipment. Okay, and this, this box is 33 pounds, gonna cost me 12 bucks. Okay. Accept charges. I really never care about that, but yeah, accept print labels. Okay. It's going to go over to, to my. I got to. Hold on. I got to open up my thing again here. There's my labels. Okay. It's still trying to figure out how to do my Mac thing here. It's just kind of hard sometimes. I got to figure out how to print my labels. Um, oh, file. Yeah, file print. Sorry, guys. I'm just. This is all kind of still kind of new to me. So I have my Dymo there. You got to make sure and select the right one, brother. Standard print. Okay. Let me make sure my printer's hooked up. I have to switch these out because I only have four USBs on my uh, on my computer. So sometimes with my Dymo and everything hooked up, my my scanner, I have to plug in the the printer. There you go. Printer's plugged in. It's printing the labels. Okay. So this is the next step. Labels have been printed. Complete shipment here. And this is the box I was telling about in the other video. If you do not mark this, your inventory lab will not change, okay? So you're gonna mark, mark the shipped, okay? Now if you go back to your inventory, it's gonna show you that your, your box is shipped in transit. Okay, I just shipped, this one is already in transit. They should have this one today, 157 CDs. This is the one that's shipped right now, okay? So now what you wanna do is you go back to your inventory labs, hit sync, and watch, watch, this one will disappear, okay? See now it's gone. So now you only have the I only have these three. I have Tampa still open because these boxes are not full. Uh, so basically it's that simple, guys. And then you just start a new batch again, okay? Um, let me show you. I'll start a new. Uh, yeah, it's, you know you guys get the gist of it. I mean, uh, but basically if you go back to your, you know, this is a, you know, these two are the ones that are that are just, this was the one I just finished and boxed up. So you got to make sure on that one and click mark is shipped. If you do not. Uh, this will still be here, and then say you ship that box, it, you're gonna have a hard time doing it because what you have to do is you have to go back and open the shipment, duplicate the shipment, and then delete the other shipment, and then pre-print the label. That's a nightmare. It happened to me before. Uh, I learned that from Ashley Kincaid on how to do that. So uh, basically, it's that simple, guys. And uh, I'm gonna probably do a couple hundred CDs today. So these uh, probably Tampa will probably be gone today, and Rip Two will probably be gone today. So. And on your book, on your boxes, I just set them on the floor down here. Okay, three different boxes. I write on, I write Rick two, Ontario two, and Tampa two on the box on the open flap of the box. And as you're going, like I said, when you're using inventory lab, as you're going, just drop it into the box. And then when your box, when you're looking at your boxes, and your box says, "Oh, oh crap, Tampa's full," 
go ahead and close your batch over here and go back and do the same thing and print your tampa these it, it will not affect these at all okay guys it's only going to affect the one if so say if you want to go over here and you want to look at your uh shipments okay okay you want to want you see the ones that you're working on there's the tampa one okay that's working on so basically you want to work on shipment and then you're going to do the same thing ship that one it's only going to affect the one you're working on it's not going to affect all these other ones it's only going to affect the one that you're working on. So say you go back over here and you want to ship Ontario, three three items, you can just do the same thing again, okay, guys? Very simple procedure, guys, very simple. Uh, how you do inventory labs with Seller Central, you know, over here. Very simple, guys. Hope you enjoy it.